pagan people it's meta and i'm back with some more night cry for for you guys so as i died the last time since i didn't alert anybody to what was going on i went back and i fiddled a bit more with the radio and i was supposed to you know do it on uh, channel 16 and i managed to alert the coast guard so yay Let's go and see if we can actually get further this time. Now we're with Leonard again at the well. Let's see if there's some messages that he can post. Yes, I can actually post. Dear students, if it's a possible that a person with an, an, an artificial eye is involved in this. It's Vigo. I know it's Vigo since we found his eye in the, you know, you know in, in the cabin. There, that should encourage my students to be more careful. Yes. So I had nothing to, you know, comment on before, but no, I found an eye. That's, you know, creepy. Okay, and this time I didn't get any, you know messages about being caught in the well but I bet I have to go down there nonetheless because there's no other way for me to go yay isn't my life lovely oh yes it is I see a faint light coming from the bottom though what could be there that light is man made so do I Use the non-slip gloves. Yes! Let's use the non-slip gloves. So maybe I can climb. Yes. I'm such a freaking genius. Yes. Go me. I'm so fucking awesome. A suspicious tunnel. Maybe I can get into the tunnel instead of falling down and dying. I could just. I always wear non slip gloves when climbing ropes. Yes! Go, Leonard! Fucking awesome! <laughs> actually made it further. I feel pretty accomplished right now. I feel smart. But it's, uh, you know, 1 a.m. Not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. Okay, now I'm in a spooky place. Just gonna reload my feed there. Okay, let's move on. Oh! Spooky ghost hands. Hello. Are you gonna grab onto me or are you gonna move away? Are you gonna be spooky? Like pinch my bottom if I go by? Let's try it. Yeah. And something slowly on. Yeah. Bad hands. <laughs> Bad touch. That's the ultimate bad touch right there. <laughs> Sorry, that was so abusing with those hands going, Ooh, we're gonna grope you. Oh. Let's hope the save point is too far from here since I actually used the... Okay, did you use the gloves? Yeah, so I need to go back from the house thing, but the, it doesn't take me many minutes. I spent more time earlier, you know, trying to figure out the whole mask thing, so this won't take long, especially not with the, mm, you know, the skip cut, you know, cutscene function. If only the loading doesn't take so long. It's freaking annoying. That's what it is. 
I'm waiting, I'm waiting for so long for this game to carry on. And so I sing in a stupid way. Yes, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's run along to the cabin with my creepy spooky mask. And not run back because we can totally pass through this now. I'm one of you guys. I'm totally not suspicious. Let's see. Off to the cabin we go. Pass through it like we did before. La la la, skip the cutscene. Thank you for that function. Saves me some time. And let's check the phone again so I can add it to my contact list. Will Anderson, the guard outside. Let's see. Yeah, let's just use my smartphone here. I have no idea if it's an achievement for, you know, charging your cell phone and all the chargers. Maybe that's an achievement right there, or maybe they all just come when you're playing the game. Because I've gotten eight achievements now, that's half of all the achievements in the game, and I think I'm midway, so that's not too bad. And Leonard's climbing, and we don't want to look at his ass, because it's not that interesting. Let's just look at the books again, like I did before, la la la. And there's the boiling eye, la la la, spooky. And look at the wolf. I have no idea if that has a consequence. Let's grab the hand with the V20 on it, hand of glory. <sighs> And let's not do what I did before, like actually, you know, tie the rope to the pole there before calling, because then you will get noticed. You're now warned. You're welcome. Okay, and let's tie the rope to the pole so we can actually get out. Insert fat joke from the... Professor Leonard there. And let's run off to the well. Yes, yes, huff, huff, let's run. Let's look at the well. Oh, and let's not forget to post a message. Like we did before. Let's let's do a selfie with with this one. I mean, I Leonard must do amazing selfies. I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, look at that face right there. So photogenic. Just, just add add some cutesy stickers and you know you got it. Stop that creepy violin music. Huh. Okay, he's got the gloves. And now we're in the corridor, and let's not get killed by spooky, gropey ghost hands this time. You spooky hands. What do you want? Do you want the ham? Am I supposed to wear... There's no nothing I can use it on. What about the ham? Do you want the ham? No! Uh, I don't want to go in there. Ugh. Maybe I'm supposed to wait. Is there something else I can click on here? Mm. Do, do, do. Is there nothing else I can grab? Can't I grab the torch? I mean, there has to be something here. Spooky hands. Stop that. Why are you so gropy? Is there something on the walls, maybe? A secret passageway? Uh, I can't go back. I'm stuck here down in this hallway. 
so there must be something here. Nothing I can interact with from the looks of it. Which is kind of annoying. Nothing. No. No, don't don't go in there yet. Uh, maybe it's because I have the light on. Can I use the Ugh Stop groping groping me. Sorry. Are they still there if I turn off the light? Mmm. Am I supposed to wander in darkness here? I mean... Nah. No! Don't, don't walk in there, you stupid moron! Don't have anything to post right now. Didn't I post my message earlier? Suckage. Maybe I shall call Will and Anderson again. Yeah, me, 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 me. Aw, oh, call isn't going through. Can I grab the torch here, maybe? I want the torch! So I can burn the hands. Okay, there's nothing I can use. It. So let's just try walking through here in darkness. Nah! That killed me again. Hmm. What am I supposed to do there? there because I'm supposed to use the gloves because if I don't or maybe I'm not supposed to use the gloves and fall down maybe yeah let's let's just do that since it doesn't seem like I can get past the hands so let's just try it a different way See if that works. Do, do, do. Let's just run through this part again. Sorry for showing you the same things over and over, but that's the deal with these kinds of horror games. Do, do. This is just me trying and failing all over. But I mean, that's what what you want, right? To see me die horribly, you know, over and over again due to silly stuff. Uh, look at her, she made a mistake! Uh, it's so fucking awesome! Uh, that's why I do this, just to entertain you guys. And also to entertain myself. I mean, it's like... It's it's not not my day job, but it's a fun hobby to have. Plus, I love horror. Horror is fucking awesome. Do, 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 do. I got the round. Up we go. So let's see. Look at the eye. Blah blah blah. And let's look at the books. Because I have no idea if that will. You know, you know, affect the plot or whatever. I oh, know, poor wolf. And grab the hand. Hand of glory. Maybe I'm not supposed to grab the hand. Maybe I'll try that the next time. But for now, let's try not using the gloves. Just to see what happens. Maybe it's the same thing that happened the last time, but... You know, it's worth a try. Spooky sounds. Spooky sounds. Can I get out before Will Anderson notices me? Yes, I did get out. Do -do 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 -do. Let's encourage my students to be careful. And let's climb down the well without the gloves this time just to see what happens.
Should be able to use it to ease my way down. We really need to do something about this fellow of mine, though. <sighs> He's constantly talking about his ways. Uh, you know, it's kind of like to do something about it now. Let's see what happens when we don't use the gloves. Are you gonna slip and fall? Fall to your doom? Maybe. That might be amusing. I'm waiting. Yes, I'm wicked. Yes, I am. Come on. Down you go, Lennon. Down to your doom. A suspicious tunnel. Yes, it's very suspicious, and there are gropey hands waiting there for you. Maybe you can avoid them. Just like them. Big splash he goes. <laughs> this is where I got when I got my first and and really must lose some weight. Ah, yes. Who's this user walker? See if she's, you know, riding it. Yeah. There has to be some way to get through the tunnel without those hands. But how? Maybe I'll try not grabbing the hand this time to see if... And now, the latest news yeah, on the yeah, ship yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the end ending for this time. It's the ending all too late. Yes, so yes, I need to use the gloves. I'm learning. It's a little bit of tedious learning, but that's the deal with these games. Maybe the hands react to the, you know, hand of glory or whatever. I have no freaking clue, but it's a, it's a little bit suspicious. So let's just try this without picking up the hand this time. Maybe I can actually get a little bit further. Without Leonard being, you know, chopped, having his head gently chopped off, or, you know, being gently strangled to death. <sighs> yeah. Th uh, on 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 that note, there's this uh, movie that I really have to recommend because it's so hor horribly bad. Camp Slaughter. It's a Swedish film. And all the actors talk with really bad Swedish, uh, you know, accents. <laughs> Sorry, but it, they they just say things so bad. None of the characters in the movie are likable at all, uh, except for for Bunny. You you know when I when I say it. Plus, it's got the craziest old lady ever, and she's fucking hilarious. <laughs> So, if you have, you know, one and a half hour to spare, just, you know, watch that movie and laugh your asses off. Make sure to bring, uh, you know, some, like, some popcorn, something to drink. Because it's fucking awesome. Uh, 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 I, like, watched the ten first mi minutes of it and I just went, oh my god, I have to watch this with someone because this is too glorious to not share. And we had a great laugh. It was just freaking awesome. It's it's like the same thing with these kinds of games. They are, you know, really horribly bad in some of their, you know, voice acting, the graphics. Yeah. Oh la, just watching or looking at these books, and let's not grab the hand this time, but let's look at the eye so we can actually warn some of the students let's can can we do it now yes we can okay let's call mr will anderson and see if uh, 
It works now when we don't grab the hand. I mean, it might not work, but I'm shit out of ideas of anything else to do in that stupid, uh, you know, corridor. Wait, didn't he use it? First, oh, oh, so I need to grab grab the hand. Oh. So I need to have it. Okay, then I'm. Then I have no freaking idea what else to do. <sighs> well, at least the game is nice that way that it won't let you, you know, go on if you don't have necessary items. So I guess that's something. I mean, could could be worse because in the original game, if you didn't pick up stuff from the beginning of the game, then you were shit out of luck. Let's do some more posts. No, okay. Let's use the non-slip gloves and get back into the hallway. But what the hell are we supposed to do here? Maybe the people on the, uh, watching this on Twitch right now has some ideas and would care to share them with me. Because that would be really appreciated. Stupid hands aren't going to sh show up and they're going to they'll be all gropey when... Oh, we want to touch your big chubby belly, Leonard. Ooh. You're going to show up. Yes, here we are. Oh, look at us. Come to us, Leonard. We want to caress you. Oh, and there's nothing you can do. Except maybe you can strangle us back. Maybe you need to wear the mask. Except not. There's nothing you can interact with. Ooh. This is, this is going to be pixel hunting. Because we love that so much, don't we? Yes, we do. It's fucking awesome. Uh, I tried walking through them and their their stroking is not gentle at all. I mean their their touch is a really bad touch. Mm. Hand of glory, can I shove it up my ass? Throw it down the hallway. Let's just try to. Yep! We're dead again. I have. How the fuck are we supposed to get past this? Oh, stop helping me! That's a look of terror right there. I mean. Oh. The hand did not work on those things. Duly noted. <sighs> okay, let's get down here. But, yeah. I use the gloves and then I need to get further and figure out what the fuck else I'm supposed to do. I don't think there was anything else else in the cabin that I need to pick up. Otherwise, I think the game would have told me so. Because it seems to, you know, tell you when it's required, so. La 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 la, I'm just gonna walk over here. No, don't go back, Leonard. It's too late. I mean, you're unable to walk through the forests outside of the well. You have to venture down because it's spooky and we're supposed to go in spooky places and die by grokey hands. One of, one of the best ways to die, I'm certain. It's fucking awesome, you know. Because it certainly looked like a gentle touch. La la la. And then let's go there. Take up the rope. Do do do. Uh, do, 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 do. Go upstairs. I have no freaking idea how we're supposed to get past those stupid hands. 
but I'm sure it's stupidly simple and when I figure it out I'm just gonna face fall myself and just go why the fuck are you so fucking stupid tonight Meta? That's fucking stupid and you should have thought of it ages ago just like you did with that stupid mask piece that, that was in a pretty obvious place but no you didn't figure it out um, until much later and you totally suck for it. Okay, mm. let's grab the hand, la la la. I have no idea why I need that hand. Uh, maybe it's for some spooky stuff later. That would totally make sense. Let's call Will Anderson again. Mr. Anderson, the Matrix is calling you now. And use the robe and sneak out while he's inside inspecting his phone. <coughs> oh, really wish I could figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get past those hands. Stupid hands. Stupid ropey hands. That it's really fucking simple, and I'm or overlooking something really, really obvious. Because that's how it goes. Do -do -do. And we're in the hallway again. I really wish there was, you know, a checkpoint here so I didn't have to, you know, replay the same thing time and time again. That's one, uh, like another technical problem with this game. The, the save points are too far between and it gets boring really quickly to have to replay certain stuff. I mean, it's just... Let's just try walking towards it, the hallway, but yeah, there they are. I, I can see there's a door on the other side there, but there's no way for me to interact with it. There's no interaction points, nothing I can do with the hands. Uh, I can't use it. Oh, wait! Duh! Duh! I was fucking stupid! Let's light the hand on fire! Ah. Oh, oh, I need to keep it inside at all times. Oh, spooky hands! Spooky hands! Spooky hands, and I bet there's gonna be a jump scare here when I'm trying to keep it. Ah, that's spooky, yes, that's so spooky. Yes, it's so totally spooky. Oh, yes, I see you too. Ooh, that's so cheap. That's so fucking cheap. It's going. Ooh, I'm so spooky. Except you're not. Bye bye, hands. I figured out. It's like I made it across. I in gave one you piece. the middle finger. Oh, yes, I'm so fucking badass. I'm so fucking badass. Now it's spooky. Okay, what kind of door is this? Let's check. No sister woman inside, please. Oh yeah, this is fucking spooky. Dead people! Oh, something in the box. I bet there's something in the box. Or maybe that's a coffin. Oh, that's so nice! Just look at that. Oh, this is disgusting. I mean, are they gathering blood for the the sister woman? Slightly pale, indicating that most of its blood has been drained. Nope, really? I I can notice that because I'm freaking blind. Oh my god. Okay. Let's check the altar first, because I fear there's something creeping in the box. A dagger! 
Scientists seem to ignore your utility. It's similar to the Dami Jakri and daggers. Ritual daggers. That makes sense. This stings of rituals all over the place. Okay, is there anything else? Ooh, candles! I can look at the candles. Uh, let's look at the candle. Numerous candlesticks are on the altar. The flame of each is flickering. Yeah. That's the best candle and animation I've ever seen so far. I mean, totally not. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Massive, sturdily constructed rectangular box lies in the center of the room. Upstairs room and a coffin-like box. Team freaking set up. Oh, Chris Christopher Lee isn't sleeping here. Oh, glorious. Geometric patterns have been drawn all across the entire floor. Magical square, but I can't see the whole picture from here. I need to go up here. Hmm, I can see the entire image from here. Just as thought, it's a magical square. This isn't... This isn't what? Like silhouette is cast over the magical square. Hope I'm wrong, but does the silhouette represent the Oceanus? If so, oh no! We're all part of a wicked lit, like, ritual! I didn't imagine that because that totally didn't happen in the other Clock Tower games. <gasps> it's time for a real ritual. And my students are in grave danger. They weren't in grave danger before when, uh, you know, um, um, a scissor woman came, you know, stalking them. I mean, that's just... People in, in these games are fucking stupid. <gasps> What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my god, oh my god. Is it the scissor woman? <laughs> Oh my god, it sounds like I'm having oh, an orgasm. Jerome. Jerome? Who's Jerome? A weekly rising and falling. Oh my god, that's nasty. That's just asking for a bad infection right there. Okay, can I text mess like messages? No, I don't have anything to post. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, let's head through here. Mm -hmm. Curtain is swinging slightly, perhaps caught in draft. Then you pull it aside. Oh, sister woman, please. Does this door lead outside? Before that, we check the room a little more thoroughly. Haven't I checked it? I mean, I found, you know, maybe I need to grab the dagger maybe that's the thing he was you know but i've looked at the candles do i need to blow them out blow out the candles make a wish i wish that i get away from this fucking alive what's this what's this there's blood and gore everywhere red scars these scars seem to be much older uh, Maybe he's the scissor woman thingy. Okay, can I leave now? Maybe? I want to leave! Okay, it's loading up. Please don't die. Please don't die. Where's the professor? Yay! He was supposed to be here by did, now. Did, did I, I clear know. the chapter maybe? You just have to wait. And now you're gonna die. <sighs> no, wait! <sighs> So I dragged Jerome Professor, back. Who's that? This is my buddy Jerome. He was held captive by some strange men. Don't worry. He's alive. Well, but it looks like shit. Quickly, back to the ship. They're targeting the Oceanus. In case you didn't figure it out before. The Oceanus? What do you mean? Creepy I can explain later. We need to hurry. While you're at it, can you get this man a jacket? We can't have him freezing to death. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'm just sitting here in the middle of the ocean. Dude, as oh, we go somehow there. we've made it back. Yay! We I'm going back to death and murder. We have no That's idea awesome. how many of them are on the ship. We'll have to eliminate. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what was that Michael Bay strikes again. Ooh. Hey, nice going. Get back to the ship. Back to the ship. Uh, uh. Jerome, you betrayed me. You broke my heart. And for what? You make me sad. You make me really fucking sad. Okay, it seems we're on chapter three. Yay! Uh, at the same day. So, do we get to play as Monica again? Yeah, she we, she was kind of fun. But if so, let's hope she's taken off her high-heeled shoes because I fucking hate those things. Loading. It's loading, loading. Do, 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 do. Oh, we we have part. Oh, we play as another girl who doesn't wear high heel shoes. Yes. And who are you, you young lady? Bubba Rooney Simpson. I never met a girl named Rudy before. Hey Bruno. Oh, cutie pictures. Hello. Steven Wagner. Camera. I can't post. I want to post. Oh no. Can I call somebody? Leonard! Is he my teacher or something? Maria Ortiz. Come on. No, it doesn't work. Hello, who are you? Hello there, do you have a pet? Because it's totally relevant to our situation right now where we're being killed. Oh yeah, you brought your cat on this trip. Um, I wouldn't bring my cat on the trip like that. Because, I mean, the house is... Why is the music playing right- Oh! Is this during the party? I think so, Jerome. Are you saying all about a guy in your position? Well, the text is going too fucking fast! This means we'll not be the artist. Didn't the whole thing start at on August 16th, or is my memory black? <laughs> These people, these people are still alive. Yeah. A happening spot, yeah. Hello, Professor! Oh, Ruby, great to see you made it out here. Having fun? Yeah. And, and it certainly looks like all of you are having such great fun just standing, you know, still in, in like one place not talking or anything oh this is so much fun you're just standing here oh my god this is so fucking amazing casual cocktail party hello lady hi maria so maybe that's uh, the maria from the phone oh she's a professor too maybe she's a scissor woman And just listen to that fucking awesome party music and make me want to dance. Oh, look at the food that nobody's eating. Let's talk with her. So I know Kelly. Death Wish Diva. Okay. Why is she called the Death Wish Diva? Oh yeah, it's gonna be real fun real soon when, when you get some scissors up your ass. Oh! Hi there, guy! He looks like from, uh, you know, Berserk or something with those eyebrows just going... <laughs> I'm so angry! I'm so fucking angry all the time! 
time and I'm missing the, the little conversation, but it's totally worth it because this is awesome. And I walk this way. And I'm gonna run in a stupid way too. Okay. I don't think there's much I can do. Seems I have no choice but to go outside. Let's do that. Let's explore before the scissors. It would be rude to leave so soon. Aww. Let's talk with the guy with the, you know, scratches on his neck. Scratching his neck and pitching his something. Okay, so I can't go that way, so I'm supposed to go. Nice to know. Bye, Mr. Angry Man. I'm bitching this party. I'm going out here. With my tight jeans. Nothing over here. And I bet I'm gonna be stopped by the Sister Walker. Um, the, you know, chapter two wasn't, you know, that stressful like the previous one. The first chapter was a bit more like the previous, you know, games. But there was no, you know, stalker moments uh, during, you know, the second one. Nothing around here for me to do, or... So it kind of, you know, felt more like a King's Quest game. And it was actually, you know, no stalker. Where is your brother? I'm, I'm gonna go look for your brother. Maybe he's supposed to be out here, but I just ignored. Hello, Mr. Brother! Mr. Angry Brother! You out here? Do you have anything in the inventory? No, my smartphone. Could you have gone over here? Is there anything I can interact with? No, doesn't look like it. Hello? Anybody over there? No. And I can't go past her because the sign says me, you know, like, tells that I, uh, tells me that I can't. Oh, boo hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Let's go back inside and talk with the more people. Have you seen his brother? Mr. Angry is looking for his brother. Have you seen him? Harry! Yeah, maybe I need to tell Monica. So maybe we need to prompt her to go looking for Harry. No, nothing in particular over there. No need to be a bitch, Monica. I saved you during chapter one. It's just, you know, maybe I should have let, let you die more than I did. Okay, these are just talking about boring stuff. Luxurious present, these are now conductor, blah blah blah. Yes, introduce me to Jerome, who's gonna backstab you later. Yes, he's a handsome devil, especially with all those scars in his back. Maybe he's the Jerome Ferriot. Mm, Brutus Simpson, that's a pretty you know, boring name in comparison. Ah, oh, so Rudy and Leonard are related. Aww. I'm, I'm like a daughter to him. That's heartwarming. Stop with the other professor again. 
meaning to say this for a while now, but <gasps> no, I'm not flunking. Oh. Yes, let's move into a flat with Jerome. We shall elope and you know write beautiful music together. asking me about my pets again. Maybe, maybe I need to save a cat or something. Let's search for Fluffy! Maybe there's something out here now that I've talked with more people. I can only hope that something happens. I mean, e either there's Oh yeah, now, now I could actually click on that. I'm just standing here, watching the sea, as if I'm, you know... The ocean at night seems to suck you in, don't you think, Rooney? Don't push me overboard! Don't you think it would feel so nice to be sucked into the ocean? Is she suicidal, or... Oh, that's it's the creepy girl from chapter one! In the ocean. Like a soft Shut bag. up, little bitch! It's a bit salty. So you should bring some candy. I like lemon and fruit punch flavored candy. This is creepy messed up in it's the brain. It's sparkly and beautiful. It's like a billion stars are at the ocean floor. It's you're not lucky. sparkling. It looks dark the and are all yours. And you're going to become a sparkle too. No, thank you. Rooney, can you wait for me down there? You can't take all the candy though. You shut up, you little get girl. Some rest. In the soft and comfy ocean. No, Rooney. No. Bad girl. Come back. Come back. No. Hey. Yay! Uh, Jero! Oh, my romantic you all right? hero. You were about to fall into the ocean. Oh. Uh, I didn't notice. Because I'm dense. Okay. Let's talk with Jerome some more. What's gotten into you? What's gotten in into you? Your lips are moving really weird. Hmm. Let me know to drink too much myself. Here's my room keys. Hmm. Yeah. Don't worry. It's not something I can explain to someone else really well. It's just if it's that time. Um, that's actually a real thing that many people do and they constantly analyze it. No, I don't. I don't really recall the name of that psychological phenomenon, but yeah, you, know, you know, it's it's actually quite common, which is kind of weird. But I think I do understand what you're going through at least a little. This is really depressing talk. And, and now I'm starting to sus suspect Jero more and more, considering his scars and all that. Something about me that triggers it. Ooh, he's inviting me to his room for drinks. Oh yeah, score. Oh, excited. Back to my room in advance to sit things up, up for us. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! He asked us out of age! Ooh. And then I go to his room and I'll get horribly murdered by scissors or something. Let's go and see if we can leave now. Okay, some of the people. 
people have left now, so... Where are the other students? Well, after Jerome disappeared, the girls presumably had no reason to linger. No one expects an old man to garner attention the way a handsome young man might have left. The text is too quiet when I'm trying to read it out. She to leave the nest to find her independence. I've stopped her before. But don't stop people from becoming independent. <sighs> Leonard, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. I'm tipshay. She, she's not tipsy. She's tipshay. <laughs> Just, you know, sad. <laughs> okay, it's time to leave this party. And I'm not gonna talk to that lady about her pet either. Should be in a sweet area of it. Ooh. Ooh la la. Come on, let's walk. Ooh, let's talk to the lady. Wherever that is. Hey, I haven't seen your face on this floor before. Were you at the party? Yeah, but I left part way through. I got bored and slipped away too. There's much more fun to be had on a night like this. Okay. Find fun. Okay, let's see what's in this area behind here. Ooh, it's a gaming area! Awesome! Okay, brochures. Let's play some pool! Fuck yeah! Oh, you haven't played it? That, you know, do it! Or maybe you can use those. Oh, darts! Darts! Hello, Mr. O officer. Why do what do people see in darts? I don't get it. Fine, be a killjoy, Rooney. Hey, Saul. I'm the first mate, Saul. I hope our service is meeting all your needs. Yes, very much so. A pleasure to hear it. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with a member of crew should you feel inconvenienced. Ah! I added the. You know, Saul to my contacts. So that's awesome. This is Saul. Like I promised, I'm posting about playing snooker. It's best to start from basic nine ball game. And he's in my contact list. Or, no. What kind of girl only has two people on her contact list? That's kind of sad. I mean, I'm I'm not the most sociable person, but still, I have more contacts like than that. Do anything else I can look at in here? Grab some cues. Ooh, why no? And Rooney's moving really weirdly. She's running like ooh do 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 do. It just looks a little bit weird. She's walking all hunched over, but she's standing upright, so... Man, her shoulder blades are really poking through there, aren't, aren't they? Shopping area. I have no reason to, to go over there right now. Oh, so maybe I need to knock on some of these doors. Maybe that's sweet. Do -do -do. Okay, there he is, just waiting for me. Here I am, darling. <sighs> and you look tired. Maybe you shouldn't have invited. That's. He invites more girls to his cabin. Oh my God! What a backstabber. Hey, I am here for the booty call. Yes, just pucker up, shuddy. Mm -hmm, yes, some, those are some lovely lips. Can I keep them? <sighs> that is such a cop out. The dreams. Oh my god. In the closet there. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. It's my first time. Be gentle. Let me. 
pour us some drinks? Maybe that's a foreshadowing that Rune is actually the sister walker. Wooden cabinet. Of course I'm a bow. A bow just rummaging through it. I'm not! Ooh, let's grab us some drinks. Oh, let's watch TV. Bottle, wine, two glasses. Drill must have set them up. No wine from the store, but whatever th this is, it looks expensive. Good, he's no cheapskate. Let's sit down. No. Hey, are you okay? Oh, uh, why do you ask? You look kind of pale. If you're not feeling well, I can come back later on. Oh, no, 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 stay. I had a short nap earlier. I must ha have had a bad dream. <laughs> oh, bad dream. Exactly, I'm sure I had a bad dream. But it's the strangest thing. I can't remember it for the life of me. Somebody has really short-term memory. This happens from time to time. I can't recall. <gasps> the text is too quickly! Hmm. So he's got memory losses. I'm sure there's nothing sinister behind that. Mmm, nothing at all. Well, why did you start talking about it if you didn't want to talk about it? Yeah. Shouldn't expect things from me. Okay. Of course I like to complicate things. Yeah. I don't want to look at the couch. I want to sit there. Uh, where did he go? He just disappeared. What happened there? Did you go to the bedroom and expect me to follow you? Ooh, ma oh la la. The bedroom. Standards, I can't just go peeking into someone's bedroom. I mean, why not? Uh, are, oh, are we supposed to look in the bathroom? Ooh, Fanche! Let's take a bath or or a shower. Wait, I'm just gonna look at it like this. Just power ranger pose. No, seems I can't do anything about it. So, let's leave. Where the fuck did he disappear off to? He's not sitting there anymore and now he's just gone. A shower coming within the room. I think that's the cue that something creepy is gonna happen. Oh, now we hear the sound of a shower. <gasps> oh, this reminds me of the first Clock Tower game when you hear the dripping sound of water. If you haven't played the first Clock Tower game for Super, for Super Nintendo, do it. Just do it because it's fucking creepy and amazing and it, you know, made me freak out so much. It was awesome. <gasps> Okay, loading time. This ought to be good. I'm expecting something creepy. And, you know, really creepy, unlike the Coral Corridor when I was more focused on keeping the heart of heart in place and then spooky things jumped up, up and going, Ooh, we're so trying to scare you. I mean, spookiness is more about atmosphere than jump scares. <laughs> Jerome? Jump scare coming? Jump scare? Oh! I knew it! Mostly because this was in the trailer video. Oh, hello, Sizzle Walker. Okay. What are you laughing at? Good for you, Rooney. Your wish is gonna come true now. You can join a world of no worries. Right. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Oh! Rooney! 
run! Jerome! Jerome? My hero! Hurry! Get out of here! You know, gently twist her neck. Let's go to the shopping area! And run! Is that a baby crying? Oh my god, look at all the freaking blood! I need to hide somewhere. Oh my god, where am I supposed to hide? Oh, and I clicked outside of the window. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, she's coming. She's coming. Where am I supposed to go? Oh my god, this is actually creepy again. Oh. I'm just running to through the first door set up. Oh, and, and I'm back here. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, I did. Now I'm in the cinema area. I gotta find something to, you know, stop her with. Into, you know, let's watch a movie to, together. Maybe it will be. And she's starting to get tired. No wonder I kept her running for a fair bit amount of time. And she's coming behind me. Oh my god, where am I supposed to go? There must be something I can do to, you know, hide or fight her off with. Oh fuck me. Here we go. <laughs> can I hide here? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, this is spooky. I'm hiding here. Oh my god, this is just like in Fellowship of the Ring. I'm supposed to do this even more. Is this a bug or whatever? Ooh, I'm just waiting for it to happen again. No. Please move along. Move along. Nothing to see here. No. No fun movies. Whew. I did it! That was fucking awesome. I managed to evade the scissor walker woman thingy, whatever they call her. Uh, okay, did anybody spill some, some stuff here? Uh, Kelly! Uh, no, Kelly! Uh, I know, Kelly! Kelly! Uh, uh, yay, she's alive! Uh, Rooney! I feel like I just got back from hell. It's really weird how did the monster get to you? Segments I was and running from voice it, acting, and I but... fell and hit my head. Ouch! And I didn't see her this earlier. Left a lump, all right. Okay. You didn't run into the thing, and I did, and I just let her pass you. I managed to escape by hiding. Well, most people would, you know, run away from stuff like that. I mean, it's creepy as hell. Wow. That's not something you should joke about, Kelly. <laughs> Things still out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to figure out how to get past her. Fire the guns at the thing and ate all the bullets like candy. Nom 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 nom. Anyway, I'm gonna go scout around, see if I can find somewhere to lie low. Here. Oh, do you give me a gift? Boy, you're slow. I'm trying to give you my number. You're going to need it, right? Maybe. But why didn't she have her number before, though? I really want to 
get a save point around here now. That's a creepy red light. Doesn't seem like I could interact with it, so. There we go. Maybe there's something behind here. Signs of blood on the seats. No tragic acts have been performed here yet. Hooray for that! Oh wait, wait, there, there was something I could click on there. Or... Let's watch a movie! Maybe the film has already ended. Maybe I need to show a movie there. Maybe, you know, show the scissor woman a movie about love and the beauty of life. Maybe she will repent and, you know, just go, life is awesome, I'm sorry for all the people I've murdered so far. Oh my god, I'm a horrible supernatural being. I'm so ashamed. It's locked. Okay. Let's go see if we can find something else to look at. And maybe I need to take a break from streaming soon because I have to get up somewhat early-ish in the morning. Nope, it's not opening. What's that sound? Number of explosions. The movie's playing at a time like this? No way. Somebody's stuck in there. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe, you know, it's the spooky little girl who really needs Punch to the face. Oh, look at all that blood. Such a mess. That's the phone charger. Lots of phone chargers. That's good. Let's use this again. Hooray! It's charged! And I really wish this worked as a saving point. But no, I just have to, you know... Okay. Let's try and explore this hallway here. And I'm gonna play un until I'm killed now. Maybe something will happen in this shop. I mean, hello, this is... Ah, oh, that's the perfect setup for, you know, somebody dying. That looks like a real head or... Quite a different texture to that of the mannequin and it carries a faint scent of blood. I bet that's a real head! Or maybe not. Oh yeah, I knew it. <laughs> That's just, you know, gruesome. The neck from which the head fell is covered in spots of black and blood. Cash register. It is open, but any money that might have been there is gone now. Man, the people on this ship are way, you know, they're just way too quick to loot. What do they think they're gonna do? You know, bribe the, the sister woman? Could be a hiding spot. Shh. Nothing amiss in the changing room. Something might have been hiding back here. Yeah. That would have made sense, you know. Poorly selling designs. Okay, anything else I can grab in the store? Okay, let's, you know, creepy about the mannequins, yeah. Man mannequins can be really creepy. I mean, I'm not that freaked out with them, but still, they're not exactly, you know, something you really want to, you know, keep looking at. Personally, I found clowns far more unsettling. Okay. 
okay, let's move down here. Maybe, you know, I can find a map of this place. Ooh, bathroom! That's bound to be some horror. Room. Sink is stained with a faint red color. Yeah. Mystery of the year! I got an achievement! For some reason. Cleaning tools! Maybe I should use a, you know, brush against her or throw some acid in, in the scissor walker's face. Let's see. Okay. This is a hiding place. I think I saw this in the, you know, the trailer. With the scissor walker just slicing Rudy's face open. Da -da -da. Do something. So I can, you know, either die or, you know. Let's check the innermost one. Okay, this toilet is open, so maybe there's something. <gasps> oh my god! Why here? Can I grab it? Take a photo. Okay, so Leonard has already gotten onto the island and spotted the eye. That's kind of, you know, did I really spend that much time running away from the scissor walker uh, lady? It seems kind of, you know, weird. Hallway. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Isn't this the way out? Yes, I think it is. Let's see, it's an elevator of some sort. Okay, I can't use this, it looks like. So maybe let's go up and, you know, investigate things a little bit more. But why are you walking when I double click there? You're so slow, Rooney. You're so freaking slow. Ah, oh, warehouse. So I'm not heading this way. Okay. Keep on walking. What time is it now? Ugh. I've been playing for over an hour now. Okay. These look like bulkhead doors. Okay, let's head back out to the hallway with the stairs. See if I can find some more clues upstairs, maybe. Man, look at all the blood. Just holy shit. Okay, that's the elevator. Let's try that one. Alright, so I can't use the elevator. Fuck my life. Upstairs we go. <laughs> Shh, Kelly, be quiet. Or maybe you should set your phone to silent mode, so the you know 
scissor woman does a million of the cargo hold and shopping area we're hiding in there ah so I need to go back down to the place I I just went to genius I'll let you in yeah don't keep us waiting I don't plan to and let's hope the scissor walker doesn't you know come around when I'm you know heading there yes I totally don't need that here that was the cargo hold right okay calling pick up it's me Rooney I'm at the doors yay I made it all right come in how much do you want to bet that the um, you know scissor walker is gonna you know show up Oh, you totally don't look stiff and first. Hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Thanks. Right, don't let yourself get in a panic now. He's Swedish. <laughs> to be honest, this kind of situation almost makes me feel excited. Okay, you're <laughs> fucked up. Okay, he's just repeating himself, and here's Mrs. Slumpy Sweater. Oh, he takes a special kind of person to greet someone so normal given the circumstances. <laughs> That's true. Survivors? I can't find my husband, John Thompson. Oh, the guy in the elevator! <laughs> the, like, like Monica found him and grabbed the stone. Oh my god. He's a very capable man. He's probably safe and sound somewhere, but still. I, uh, I hate to break it to you, honey, but he's dead. He's lying in pieces all over the elevator floor with his blood coloring the walls. Oh, that's the creepy, you know, guy. He's totally behind it. It's Vigo. I'm, I'm onto you, you bastard. I didn't see it in Monica or Jessica on the way over here. I didn't, and I can't reach them by phone or text. Oh. Well, Monica is alright. Well, you know, Jessica's... Or, wait, that, that was Monica that I thought that. Rudy, you're safe! Yes, I'm safe! No, he's... Fiddling around on an island, dying in a coral corridor with ropey hands due to a Norwegian girl who doesn't know how to, you know, you know, use items well, well enough. Okay. Like and share, share. Maybe I learned to be the diary of him. I'm awfully sorry that things came to this. Well, surely there's no need for you to apologize. Oh, there is Amigo Buransoft, the owner of the ship. <laughs> and yet I don't have a clue what's happening or why. I'm responsible for everything that happens on the ship. You admitted it, you bastard! You. I don't suppose you run into the ship's captain. And I have this creepy grin thing. You're supposed to assume uh, investigative command in these kinds of situations. I haven't seen him since the monster appeared. Wishful thinking. I just hope he hasn't already run afoul of that monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's talk with Mr. Stiff Arms. Yes, he's just gonna repeat himself. Is there 
anybody on board that you're worried for? But oh, why did I skip that? Because maybe you know it gives me some hints. Please know if they're still okay. Of course, of course. Everybody has someone they treasure, and your treasured one is dead. Sorry to say that. <laughs> like that T-shirt you can never be without. <laughs> really, she's comparing people with T-shirts. Not exactly what I would be doing. I mean, T-shirts can be replaced. Show, show her the text message that that he posted. I mean, what the hell? You should be fine. This is messed up. Why did they use two exclamation marks there? Professor's missing or worse, but the suicidal loony girl, she's right here, peachy as can be. How fucking rude! Shouldn't it be the other way around? You're always dragging the professor down with the death wish crap and you're the one who's fine. Fuck you, Maria! Fuck you! Just, ugh. You bitch! I'm going to look for Monica. She's dead too. What? You serious? I really love the English letters. They just let me out. Also, Professor and Jessica, we haven't confirmed everyone is safe after all. Gee, wow, we really do have a death wish. You know there's a murderous freak on a rampage uh, out there? I'm aware of that, but I also want to find a way out of this crisis. Oh, since when were you the proactive type? Alright, your death wish must have busted your instincts for survival. Man, these people are fucking rude! Ugh. Oh hell, it's your life. Go throw it away, see if I care. Yeah, Monica Jessica's contact details? I don't. Monica doesn't have her phone. But it was missing from her cabin. Right, you never qualified to be a member of the bitch brigade. Oh. Okay. Let's see if I can contact them. Jessica! Hello! Ring, 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 ring. Call isn't going through. Monica! He doesn't have her phone, but I don't know that. Uh, Kelly. Letterhead! Hello! No, he's. He must be. Busy. Maria, we're in, in the same room and I'm still calling you a bitch. Okay. I can't make a snap post post thingy. Okay, let's try talking. Vigo just has the creepiest smile ever. Oh, maybe I can get uh, her husband's telephone number. Oh, are you going out to find her friends, aren't you? Yep. Stay here. I'll never know if there's a way for us to escape. My friend's contact de details. Monica, will you? Yep. But not these details. The number to my husband's smartphone! Yes! I got what I wanted. A girl called Monica answered. She said she found his smartphone lying around. Maybe she still got it on her now? Yes! So no doubt John's number. Yay! Let's see. He and the crazy Swede is just repeating the dialogue. How oh, nice. And off we go. Because we're full beside her. Let's see if we can reach Monica. Aww. Uh, okay, nothing that way. So let's go back upstairs. See if that helps. The head fell down. I don't need to look at it again. Okay. 
lists like we saw before lots of Japanese people passengers who came to the theater okay I really wish this would you know just save so I can you know resume from here here later but I do think that this is a good time for, for me to stop playing because I've been playing for a long while now and I'm starting to get tired. And I've done two, two sessions today, so I'm gonna play some more tomorrow. If this didn't save my, my progress, then, th then I'll just replay the chapter so far and do the exact same things before I start streaming tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it wasn't that, that much gory scissor death today as it was during the first chapter, but hopefully that will be rectified and you get to see me die many bloody ways and join the splatter on the floor. So tune back in tomorrow and thanks for watching. Bye!